I am switching gears on the channel for today's video, and today's video is going to be a product review. So yes, I, do, I am not talking necessarily about GMC Sierra or Chevy Silverado news tips or tricks, but I am talking about a product that you can use within your GMC Sierra or Chevy Silverado, especially if you live in a rural area or you drive in inclement weather or on the highway a lot, because what I have for you today is a product that was sent my way by a company called Landmoto, and I have in my hands the Landmoto Vast M1 Automotive Night Vision System. There's a lot of cool stuff I want to show you with this today. We're going to start off by doing a little unboxing. I'm going to open this up, show you what you get, and then we're going to show you how it works. So with that, let's get going. Okay, but very quickly, before we get to the unboxing, if you have not heard of Land Moto, they were founded in 2015. Then in 2017, they came out with the world's first all-in-one automatic car tent that can not only provide four-season protection, but can also be used as an outdoor umbrella and camping tent. That's pretty cool. And then in 2018, Land Moto released a 1080p full-color night vision system, which helps keep driving safe. And that, of course, is the idea behind what I'm going to show you today in the Vast M1, which is the newer version that came out just at the end of 2021. Lucky enough to get my hands on it, and I want to show you today. So let's get to the unboxing. All right, so here we go with the unboxing. I really like the packaging that they actually sent this in. Uh, again, this is the automotive night vision system. As you can see on the bottom of the box, it does say 1080p night vision, full color image, driving recorder, parking monitor, and this is the Vast M1 with the 128 card and actually the rear camera in this one as well. I'm just gonna take my pen and we're gonna open up uh, this side of it here. Let me see and see. A little bit of a warning in here, first and foremost. What else have we got? Well, there's our uh, there's our card reader right here, a USB card reader. There is our memory card, the 128. What else have we got? Obviously, we've got our owner's manual here, right? Our instruction, our instruction manual, destruction manual, whatever you want to call it. Now, this is an eight-inch color screen, by the way. And this is the screen here. I'm excited to see what it actually looks like here in person pretty cool looks really decent quality there's the uh cords to plug it in yeah pretty decent up here we have the power button uh, we're gonna go over this uh more later i just want to show you um how it's packaged and how they unbox it we'll go over all these things individually uh, as we go on it really is really nice packaging very uh apple-esque i would say with how the uh the boxes and stuff are so in here we should have that is actually the backup camera right here yeah, we'll have a look at that. Actually, yeah, let's just take that out of there so we can have a peek at what that backup camera looks like. So there is your backup camera, okay, with the cord. We've also got what I believe would be the front, the front camera. I would assume, I think. I can get it out of here. Yes, and that is your front camera. And by the way, uh, it is to detect uh, low lights, of course, right? So this is a pretty uh, high-tech camera. And we are, like I say, we are gonna get into that uh, as we get further into the video. Um, we've got the power cords. Uh, we've got some tools here. There's some more uh, cords to run that camera to the back. Uh, there's a mount in here, so you can mount it on the dash. Um, let's see what else we've got in this bag here, as a matter of fact. What else have we got? Yeah, there's your mount for the dash. Oh, I'm making a mess here, but we're going to get to it all here momentarily. There's your 12-volt uh, adapter. Uh, this is where you can actually plug it in to the DIC of the vehicle. Uh, not DIC, but you know what I'm talking about, sorry. Um, some other mounts here with the sticky back so you can mount it up in the window. Yeah, this is pretty cool. All right, so... A lot more in here, but we're going to get to that as we talk about what is and how this works. Let's get going. But let's talk about some of the things that we're going to utilize today to show you how this Vast M1 works. Because we're not going to use everything, uh, you know, in terms of how it mounts, because there's different mounts, things like that. But let's just start out with the mount. So first and foremost, you have your dash mount, which looks like this. And I think, again, we saw it uh, so that this will sit here like that, right? I'm not sure which vehicle I'm putting it in today, whether it be the Yukon or the Silverado. But regardless, that is the one way to do it. Another way to mount this, which I like, by the way, this is an 8-inch screen, 1080p quality is by this here. So they give you a couple of these, okay? They mount in, if you can see those slots, in the back of the slots, and then they also give you the screwdriver with some small screws to screw in those there. Why do you want that? Well, because what happens is you can take these elastic bands, there's a little bit of a lip there, 
hang this here, wrap it around, and you can actually wrap it around the mirror. So uh, I think, you know, today what I might be doing is actually utilizing uh, it on the mirror just so, uh, you know, I can move it um, and for today's test purposes. But anyways, so you have a couple different ways you can mount that. That's pretty cool, first and foremost. And then as far as the powering, it's actually pretty easy. As I showed you when I was unboxing, it does have the 12 volt adapter. There is one other adapter here where you can mount it into the, you know, the information center of the vehicle. But the easiest way and the way I'm going to do it today is by using the 12 volt adapter, which plugs in quite easily uh, to the vehicle. And then, of course, plugs into the screen. Uh, easy way to do it. Now, past that, obviously, one of the most important things of this and one of the things I think that they did uh, better in terms of this Vast M1 than the prior models is we have the forward-facing camera. Again, you saw this in the unboxing, but one of the things I'm going to talk about this forward-facing camera is in the prior models of the night vision system that uh, Land Moto did was it was actually, the camera was actually mounted on the back of the screen itself. The downside of that, at least as far as I was concerned and, and some of the things I've seen about it, is when you had this mounted, depending where you mounted it so you could actually see it, the downside would be that that's where the camera had to be. Not always the most optimal angle. Well, the, pop, the, the cool part, not the problem, the cool part is with this, this system being separate, of course, now it's just suction cupped onto the windshield, windshield wherever you want it so you can have the optimal field of view. Uh, you know, again, depending on how your, your windows uh, angled, raked, where your mirrors, all that kind of stuff, you can put this camera there and it'll be in the more optimal spot so you're gonna get the best viewing for your screen itself. And then speaking furthermore about the camera itself, it is a seven glass uh, camera, which basically does a couple things. Of course, that provides you the most optimal clear view at nighttime as well, in, as, well as in some, you know, inclement weather. Uh, the other thing is it's actually fitted with anti-glare. That is a big, huge factor because of course, the whole idea with this camera is it's lighting up the night for you, right? Essentially. Well, what happens when somebody's coming towards you with their high beams on? It is going to be overwhelming and will obviously affect the quality. Well, that is the idea behind the fact that this has the anti-glare behind it. Not only that, but the field of view is massive. Let me just double check and read what it's saying. 70 degree angle is what it's saying. Again, we're going to test this out. And a 984 foot view distance oh, ahead of you. That's basically as far as you could see in the daytime, but we're seeing in the nighttime or again through inclement weather. Oh, and that rear camera that they're offering here, 170 degree angle of view. Two more things I want to talk about before we get in the vehicle, and that, of course, is the actual screen itself. Again, 8-inch screen, 1080p quality. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how, you know, how clear it is, but it sounds as though it's going to be excellent. Now, the last thing I just want to talk about, too, and included, I don't know if you remember in the, during the unboxing portion, was that this does have 128 gig memory card. Why is that? Well, because... This is not only just a night vision view for you, it's an actual dash camera recorder. And what's super cool about this is it actually runs for 28 straight hours and then it'll loop. So it'll basically start deleting, you know, the, the hour, you know, the first hour from before. But what's amazing about this is you can have the vehicle park and because it's running for over 24 hours continuously, it has a G sensor to it, which basically essentially means if somebody hits that car, uh, you know, tries to break into it, whatever it may be, and it senses it senses that because the G sensor is there, it'll actually lock that footage and retain it so that it's not lost when you get out the next morning to find out that your car was attempted to be stolen or somebody hit it while it was parked on the side of the road. And you can potentially hopefully see that person's license plate because of the clear camera, right? Um, so anyways, that's just some of the things I'm going to be using today uh, in terms of, again, how it's going to mount and what it comes with. Um, but let's just go use it in the actual vehicle and see how it works and how it looks. But super quickly before we head out, there are three separate ways in which to mount this. And first and foremost, you have the dashboard, of course, with the flat surface. Then you have the windshield with the suction cup, or you have the mirror with those rubber bands I showed you early in the video. As a heads up, in this video, because I was in my wife's vehicle, I wasn't sure where I was going to mount it after the fact, I wanted to get the best view for the video footage, so I used the suction cup not in the proper way. So as a fair disclaimer, the suction cup is not meant to be mounted on the dashboard board but on, rather on the window but let's get in the vehicle all right so i am back now from test driving with it in the vehicle uh the only thing i really really wish i had the opportunity to have was some you know major rain or major snow unfortunately every time i tried to do it or had the time to do it there wasn't the there wasn't that and i finally just had to do it just in, in the night but um you know i probably will upload something down the road when i have the ability to test drive in the, in, in some inclement weather but as far as the night vision man this thing is excellent i want to talk about some of the things and you're going to see some overlay video footage of what i saw but first and foremost i just want to talk about the ease of use in terms of the plug 
plug and play aspect to this. It was super, super simple to set up. Just set up, pardon me. Just plug it in um, to the to the uh, to the 12 volt outlet. Uh, you can mount it, of course, three different ways. And really, you know, it was a super simple way to do it. And then, of course, it it couldn't have been easier to mount the camera up on the windshield just with that with that um, uh, sticky aspect of 3M. Stick it up there. You can unscrew and screw it. Leave that mount up there. You know, it's a really slick system. And the other thing I was very impressed by was the fact that you know the stability of it. Not only the stability of 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 course the camera itself, the, the forward facing camera, but of the screen itself. I mean, what I was driving in tonight uh, was you know uh, I, I, it, actually probably some pretty rough conditions out there right now. Um, uh, you know, because of the snow and the ice and all that kind of stuff. Although. Maybe not looking like it in the camera, um, but I did drive some other some other uh, areas where I couldn't even hold my camera really steady, um, or not me, but the, the the person taking the film couldn't hold the camera steady while driving because basically the road was too rough. But when you were looking at the camera itself and the screen itself, I could not believe how steady, sturdy, stable it was considering the bump. So that is another thing I'm really impressed by. Next would be the sheer width of view, and now this is going to come in massively handy when you are on a highway because of course where i live up in northern canada there's not a lot of, there's you know, we're not on freeways we're on highways and it's two lane you have traffic coming both ways but there's a lot of animals and the animals aren't right on the highway right you know, if they were on the highway you'd see them you know a lot further away they're coming from the side and so to have that wider field of view uh was something that i really enjoyed as well and i mean let's just talk about the fact in general that this lights up the night it basically is like you're looking in daylight when it's nighttime and you know I turned the headlights off the vehicle and pointed it at a snowbank where you could hardly see the snowbank which is white right in the dark so it'd be easier to see my wife also walked in front of it my pregnant wife by the way uh so you know somebody you want to see right uh something you want to see and it lit it up like it was a night sky so to say that the night vision system which is what it's touted for obviously this is the whole idea behind it um would you know works would be an understatement I I'm very very impressed by it of course within the city when you have the streetlights you know it's obviously not much of a difference but we're, what the flip side of that is of course another reason I like this whole system is you know when you are in the city yeah okay you might not be using it for the night vision system that we are when we're on rural roads or on highways but what are we using in the city for well amongst the fact that we're using this also on the rural roads and highways we're using it in town for also just the dash camera aspect and that's another thing I love about this is the fact that it actually is just being used as a data recorder and as I mentioned earlier it loops for 28 straight hours right the other thing is again it has that g-sensor in it so when the vehicle is parked and you have it in plugged in the proper way and there is you know it senses it senses the vehicle you know movement it'll stop it'll uh, you know have the recording there it'll stop the recording after the fact to or save that recording pardon me not stop it, but save that recording so that's another amazing feature and then as far as the actual menu system itself, pretty easy to use. You can see here that it has a couple different things you can change on it. You know, the brightness, of course, the time. Uh, you know, there's a couple different things. You can record vo you can record audio or just video. Um, so, you know, uh, the only thing, I only have one complaint about the whole system in, in and of itself. And at least from what I could see, it was not touchscreen. So listen, I know I'm asking a lot and it would probably add an enormous amount to the price of this, which is a very reasonable price. And I can't really say it on here because it can change. It can also be different Canadian to American to you know European pricing, whatever. Um, but speaking of pricing, check the link below because I have added a link where you can find this uh, Land Moto Vast M1. If you are somebody that lives in a rural area, you're a truck driver, you're on the highway a lot. I could not recommend this system more. I am very impressed. I'm going to be using it on a lot of times, a lot of vacations in my wife's vehicle when we go away, uh, just because I just purely love the safety of it. And I cannot wait to try it when it's inclement weather, which is, you know, where I live as well. And I'll try and share that with you as well. But anyways, listen, thanks so much for watching this different video for me today. If you have any questions in regards to this, please comment below. And if I can answer it, I will definitely talk to the people at Landmoto and get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Take care. Thank you